Hey guys, so today I'm here to share a quick tutorial on how I gather my crepe paper to make kind of like a crepe paper garland. Um, right now I'm threading my machine. I'll leave a link to a good tutorial in the description box in case you don't know how to do this. Um, I don't have a fancy machine. I have uh, my machine I got um, from Target and it was 50 bucks. And I've had it for a couple years now it's, and it's held up pretty well. Um, I used to sew on my channel. I have a few sewing, or more than a few sewing videos. Um, if you guys want, I can make a little playlist and put them down in the description box. But everything that I sewed, um, I used this machine. So it's a good machine. Um, I believe it's a Singer. I'm not quite sure, though. Um, so right now, I'm just threading my machine, like I said. And you're going to want to go ahead and choose um, a crepe paper of your choice. Crepe paper. <laughs> crepe paper is very cheap and I love using it I just I think it's so fun and it just adds something special to your project so what you want to do is place the start of your crepe paper underneath the foot and put the foot down then what I'm doing is just gathering it up um, up into the base of the foot and I'm just holding it in place um, keeping both hands on my machine and as you see I'm holding the sides of it and then I'm just going to um, do, you know, whatever stitch you want, zigzag, straight stitch, and see how I'm gathering it up. I'm kind of like prepping it before it gets sewed, I guess, if you want to put it that way. And right here I'm fixing, um, because sometimes the little end of the string gets caught underneath the foot, um, so that's what I'm fixing. But you're just basically gathering up, um, the crepe paper before you sew it. This is how I do it. I don't know how everybody does it. Um, I know you can ruffle crepe paper. Um, I believe you can do that just by like a running stitch or something like that. I'm not, I'm not like, you know, a great sewer. I just know enough to get me by, but this is basically what I do. And yeah, so this is my little tutorial. Um, I had one of my friends, Serena B, you guys know her on YouTube. Um, she had wanted to, um, know how to do this. And it's it's fairly easy. I don't know. Um, here I am showing showing what it came out looking like. Um, I like I said, I'm not a great sewer. I'm not like you know, <laughs> like the best. So I don't really know all the solutions. But I believe um, she said something like her um, threading was bunching up underneath um, the crepe paper. So on top I believe it was okay but then when you turned it over it was all bunching up on the bottom and it was just a bunch of crazy looking string. If you know um, what that is um, or a solution to that problem please leave it in the comment box down below and we can all help each other out um, because I'm not sure. I want to say it has to do with tension but I'm I'm not sure. So yeah so that's pretty much it. This is the quick tutorial like I said, leave any of your um, suggestions or anything like that in the comment box down below so we can all help each other out because I would like to know as well. So that's it, and I will talk to you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye.